One of my contentions the entire time is that Bob Mueller was not obstructed by President Trump. James Comey admitted that the investigation was not obstructed by President Trump. Trump tweeting random crap out there does not constitute obstruction. We have covered this at length on the show. Instead, says Barr, for each of the relevant actions investigated, the report sets out evidence on both sides of the question and leaves unresolved what, unresolved what the special counsel views as difficult issues of law and fact concerning whether the president's actions and intent could be viewed as obstruction. The special counsel states that, quote, while this report does not conclude that the president committed a crime, it also does not exonerate him. And this is the line that the media have been focusing in on. Ooh, it doesn't exonerate him. It doesn't exonerate him. So that means that even if he didn't commit a crime, maybe he's guilty of something. Okay, now here's the reality. We all know what President Trump did here. President Trump put pressure publicly on the Mueller investigation, but behind closed doors, he didn't actually stop anything having to do with the Mueller investigation. Him fulminating on Twitter does not amount to obstruction. Him telling people internally that he'd like to fire Bob Mueller does not, it does not amount to obstruction. Him talking about how he'd like this investigation to end. Him talking about how he fired James Comey because he was ticked off at the whole thing. None of that amounts to obstruction. Okay, so that is controversial. But it is not controversial from a legal point of view. If Mueller thought that this was an open and shut obstruction case, then he would presumably have recommended charging for obstruction. And a bunch of people on the left saying, well, you can't charge a president with obstruction. That's what he's really saying, that if he weren't president, he'd be charging him with obstruction. That's not what Barr says. What Barr says is that the report does not conclude that the president committed a crime. It doesn't exonerate him because you can't exonerate in a case of sort of public view. What's hilarious about all of this is people saying, well, you know, the president shouldn't be exonerated because obstruction of justice, I mean, that even amounts to the president not wanting to talk to Mueller. No, that's called like a normal legal defense. As a lawyer, the first rule is shut your client up. I've been saying this about Rudy Giuliani since the very beginning. Dude, get your guy to shut up. The special counsel's decision to describe the facts of his obstruction investigation without reaching any legal conclusions leads it to the attorney general to determine whether the conduct described in the report constitutes a crime. This is the normal way things work. Now, people are saying, oh, well, William Barr stepped in and shut down the possibility of, a, of an investigation, shut down the possibility of a charge here. You know why? Because that's the DOJ's job. You know what you're not supposed to do is what James Comey did with Hillary Clinton. What he should have done is what Mueller did here. He should have said, here are all the facts, laying them out. Now it's up to you, Loretta Lynch. And if you want to shut this thing down, then it's on your head. Well, the same thing happened here for Mueller. Over the course of the investigation, the special counsel's office engaged in discussions with certain department officials regarding many of the legal and factual matters at issue in the special counsel's obstruction investigation. After reviewing the special counsel's final report on these issues, consulting with department officials, including the Office of Legal Counsel, and applying the principles of federal prosecution that guide our charging decisions, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and I have concluded that the evidence developed during the special counsel's investigation is not sufficient to establish that the president committed an obstruction of justice offense. Now, remember, this is Rosenstein going along with the Sioux. President Trump's been ripping on Rosenstein. So is the implication here that both Barr and Rosenstein are compromised? As you'll see, the media say yes. Our determination was made without regard to and is not based on the constitutional considerations that surround the indictment and criminal prosecution of a sitting president. In other words, it, it has nothing to do with he's the president, so he can't obstruct justice. This is just not obstruction of justice, is what Barr is saying. In making this determination, we, note, we noted that the special counsel recognized that the evidence does not establish that the president was involved in an underlying crime related to Russian election interference, so hard to obstruct an investigation into a crime that doesn't exist, and that while not determinative, the absence of such evidence bears upon the president's intent with respect to obstruction. Generally speaking, to obtain and sustain an obstruction conviction, the government would need to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that a person acting with corrupt intent, intent is an element of the crime and obstruction, engaged in obstructive conduct with a sufficient nexus to a pending or contemplated proceeding. Right? That is the state of the law. I've described it multiple times on the show. In cataloging the president's actions, many of which took place in public view, the report identifies no actions that, in our judgment, constitute obstructive conduct, had a nexus to a pending or contemplated proceeding, and were done with corrupt intent, each of which, under the department's principles of federal prosecution, guiding charging decisions, would need to be proven beyond a reasonable doubt to establish an obstruction of justice offense. In other words, President Trump says a lot of crap. That's, what that, that's the short version. Trump says a lot of crap. And because he says a lot of crap, we can't just say he's exonerated on this, but we also are not going to charge him for saying a lot of crap, because saying a lot of crap, it ain't a crime. 